In Ortona, in the Chieti province of Italy, in 2015, two avid walkers, Dina and Luigi, helped create Il Camino di San Tommaso. This 313-kilometer pilgrimage starts in Rome and ends in Ortona, connecting the tombs of the Apostles Peter and Thomas. The route crosses the width of Italy from west to east coast and passes through various natural reserves over old horseshoe trails and dirt farm tracks and various religious landmarks such as medieval abbeys and castles. The pil- pilgrimage takes 16 days to complete and upon arriving in Ortona, the pilgrims are both tired and thirsty. And so Dina and Luigi had the idea of creating a wine fountain in a nearby winery so that pilgrims could rest and refresh themselves. However, this fountain is not open 24-7 as many websites claim. Because the fountain is situated within the winery itself, it is only available for use when the winery itself is open. This may seem like an original idea, but in fact Dina and Luigi copied the idea from the the Spanish pilgrimage El Camino de Santiago. With over 1,000 years of history, El Camino de Santiago is the oldest and most famous Christian pilgrimage and it too has a wine fountain. This wine fountain pays tribute to the times when pilgrims would arrive at the hospital exhausted and thirsty and the monks would receive them offering a glass of wine. Bodegas Irachi installed the fountain in 1991 to pay homage to the monks and to celebrate their 100 year anniversary. This fountain offers both wine and water and is open from 8am to 8pm. You can even watch pilgrims drink via webcam. This isn't the only wine fountain in Spain though. In 2006 a wine tasting fountain with five different wines was opened in a wine museum in Ronda, Malaga and in 2007 in Fuencaliente on the Canary Island La Palma, a 3000 litre wine fountain was opened by winery Llanovid de Teneguía. In fact, possibly the oldest wine fountain is the Fuente de El Vino de Cadiar in the Alpujarra in Granada. Since 1967, the fountain was constructed every year to celebrate the local fiestas, but in 1987 they decided to leave it functioning all year round. In 2014, the fountain itself was renovated and its current design offers both red and rosé wines. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below and please like and subscribe before you go.